Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And we're out on the on the new Aprilia RSV4 factory again. Uh, clocking up a few few hundred miles now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss uh, just a few of the pointers. I think there's about six or seven that I've I've made a note of that I find a little bit annoying with this uh, with this bike. Uh, are there any little niggles? Uh, don't don't get worried. But yeah, we'll jump on and we'll discuss as we ride some of the niggles. Ah. Oh. Fire up. Like I say, I'm still running the bike in at the moment, so uh, I think we're clocked up about 350 miles, something like that. So we're getting there with the running, running in process. The best thing to do, really, when you're running in these bikes, same with most bikes, is um, plenty of heat cycles of the engine. So uh, you know, not so much long runs out, ride outs, but you know, just sort of. I don't know, half hour, an hour at a time. But yeah, there is a few niggles with the bike and I kind of thought to myself, is it too early to sort of be discussing it? Because I am, over, I'll, I'll put it out there now, I am, you know, more than happy with this machine. <laughs> it's, a, it's an absolute beast. And um, yeah, and I think some of the things that I've noticed within the first, I would say, how long have I had this? Sort of a month and a half now thereabouts so some of the things i've noticed and i will start off with with number one and i'll try and remember all these and if i don't it means that they're, they're really not that, that that much to worry about but number one is the the size of the hole in the fuel in the fuel filler i don't i honestly don't know what they were thinking when they designed that now i'm sure there's a reason for it but it makes it such a it just makes it so awkward to fill up and uh, the last thing I want to do is get any fuel over this this nice paint job. This one being the speed, the limited edition speed white. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know their thoughts behind that. Be interested to know if anybody watching knows any of the reasons for that, or you know, if you have, if you've got any other comments, feel free to comment below. Which brings me on to quite swiftly to number two. Which is, oh, there's no fuel gauge on this bike. <laughs> you know, you spend all that money on a motorbike, and we're in 2024 now, and there's no there's no fuel gauge, so it makes it so awkward. I, I just what I have been doing is I've been resetting the obviously the trip counter, sort of clocking up about 100 miles on the bike and refilling again. You know, I'm sure there's a fuel like what what would come on, but. From what I have heard, yeah, you don't get long when that fuel light comes on to uh, fill up. And the last thing I want to be doing is pushing this bike to a filling station. I really don't. No. But yeah, that's just these are just you know they're, they're not they're not really sort of major niggles, but they're just things that I've noticed since ownership of this wonderful machine. It's nice to see the sun out today as well for a change. But if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It'd be great to have you along. I don't just do little ride outs like this. I do uh, bike reviews as and when I can, which have been a bit few and far between recently, but I'm sure once the weather picks up, which it seems to be, uh, yeah, well, I'll do plenty more of those. So anyway, I'm diversing a little bit here. So yeah, brings me on to number three. Number three. And these are in no particular order, hit neutral there. Uh, number three is the quality of the plastics on the bike. You know, when you're talking like the amount of money you pay for a bike like this, some of the some of the fixtures, you know, the the wings, the fairings where they've been cut, aren't really really the, the best of quality. <laughs> All's forgiven when you open her up. <laughs> I'm back down to the 40s <laughs> but yeah you know there is just a few things a few few of the plastics where you, where you look at it and you think come on you know it's really a sort of what, what, you don't spend all that money on a bike and expect that but uh another little niggle of mine uh, what are we on number three so number four 
Uh, number four being, when you're turning this bike around, like in a car park or whatever, that there's not a lot of room with your hands. I think I discussed this actually on one of my first videos. It's the first thing I noticed on this, just maneuvering the bike around, but there's not actually that much room with your hands. And um, yeah, I just, I just don't quite know what's going on there. I don't know whether the, the, the clutch and the brake lever can be adjusted up or down, but I like the position they're in there and that's the, the way they came from the, the factory. So to be honest, I'm, I, well, I am going to leave them like that. I've got used to it now anyway. But yeah, there's not a lot of room there. There's not a lot of room. That's number four. A little, little bit of traffic here at a minute. That's number four. Um, so number five. <laughs> I would love to sound that with that when that exhaust valve opens. Number five is. I have noticed. This is near enough every single ride out that I look down and I've got my high beam light on. So it, I've clipped that because I haven't put it on purposely. I've clipped that high beam button on the front of the button cluster there and I've turned the high beam on which is quite annoying I don't know whether that's just something that I'm I don't know it's just because I'm not used to the, uh, the you know the, the controls I don't, I don't know anyway that's number five number five the, so uh, no biggie but I, it, it just, I just find that slightly annoying uh, really lovely little village and that is what is I love about this bike as well is the fact that with that little exhaust valve in this this has got a standard exhaust can on it you can hear it there once the revs are up at 4,000 3, 4,000 something like that there's a valve you can actually see the valve if you look down inside the the end can you can see the, the exhaust valve and uh, yeah when you turn this bike on it actuates the exhaust valve you can see it actually uh, like a little butterfly valve inside the exhaust but Anything below what we're doing now, 3,000 RPM, this is just coasting through the village here, not causing any bother to anybody until you wind her on. I love this little village here. I love a lovely little village here in Norfolk. But yeah, I can coast through here, not causing any bother, and uh, no one's none the wiser. Which, yeah, brings me on to another a little niggle of mine. Uh, I, I really don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this one. This is a biggie for me. Uh, right. On the display there, when you scroll through, it actually records your maximum speed of your... I think it might be the ride out. I don't know. I don't know whether it resets every, every ride out or not. I'd have to look into that. But... Uh, What were they thinking when they done that? I don't know. I don't know where there is. Well, oh. very, very annoying that is. <laughs> but like I say, my little niggles, they're just things that I've noticed and yeah, just things I've noticed. Hello, sir. Let me know in the comments, uh, do you own, own one of these Aprilias and have you noticed of, you know, the things I've mentioned, mentioned in this video? Or what else, you know, is there anything else that I've kind of missed? These are just my initial sort of thoughts on this bike. Wonderful. Nice to see the sun out today as well. It really is. <laughs> I love that sound. I thought I reckon that I, this has got to be the best sound in motorcycle out there. I reckon. I just love the sound. And back down to the thirties. Another little village here. Nice little village here. This is uh, Cotter Highham. Here on the Norfolk coast, by the Broads. 
perfect for these little ride outs and uh, while running this bike in anyway like I say I don't want to go too crazy keep trying to keep the reps at a certain you know below a certain limit if you like before the the first oil and filter change on the machine which really I mean I've I bought this bike from uh, Wheels Motorcycles in Peterborough and I got a great deal, so cheers for that, Wheels Motorcycles, they're a great dealership. Uh, that means, it does mean that I'm going to be taking it back to them for the first service. And they are quite a while away from me, but it all adds to the fun. What have we got here? Mustang, Mustang Sally. Well anyway, thanks for joining me today on this little ride out discussing uh, these little niggles but yeah hopefully I'll see you on the next video take care see you soon